Hi, it's Randy. Today I'm going to show you the 1 through 24 row population monitor setup. Turn on the monitor by pushing in the knob. You will see the serial number and the version number. You will also see the company address. By request, we can customize this area. Press the knob in to continue to the setup process. Now you will see the monitor is automatically detecting the number of sensors and rows. After a few seconds, you should see the main screen. Rotate the knob to the setup function. Press the knob in to select. The top of your screen will read Set Options. This monitor has many different options to be adjusted to your needs. For each function or option, you must rotate the knob to the function you want to edit. Press the knob in to select that function or option, rotate to change it, and then press the knob again to save it and move on. Your monitor type can be set to Population, Seed Flow, or Area and Speed. You have the option of either E for English or M for metric. The hopper type can be set to off if you do not use a hopper, ER for early riser, or SF for seed flow. You can also adjust the seed fail delay to your preference. To continue to the next screen, rotate the knob to next and press the knob in. The top of your screen will now read population options. Here you can adjust the number of rows, row spacing, population gain, high population limit, low population limit, and scan delay. When you are finished making your adjustments, rotate the knob to next and press the knob in to continue. The top of your screen will now read distance and speed. Your options for the method are fixed, calibrate over distance, or constant speed. The input type can either be speed input or GVS. The rate option allows you to calibrate the monitor to match any type of frequency speed sensor you want to use. When you are finished, rotate the knob to next and press the knob in. Your screen will now read sensor detect select. You can change the method to either auto or manual. You can also choose to run in auto detect now. Unless you change the numbers of sensors or row, you do not need to do this right now. Keep in mind, if you run an auto detect, you will also be exiting the setup process. To proceed, rotate the knob to next and select by pressing the knob in. You will now see that the screen reads display volume options. This is where you can adjust the contrast and backlight of your monitor screen. You can also adjust how loud you want your alarm volume. When you are finished with the screen, proceed to the next screen. You should now be on the screen that reads Set Options, which is the screen you started with. Rotate the knob to Exit Setup and select. Turn off your monitor by pressing and holding in the knob. It will take about 7 seconds for the monitor to shut down. And that is the setup for the 1-24 through 24 population monitor.